The Interminable Equation by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark After tabulating our number of days on this earth, we would still have to multiply this sum several times in order to take into account our dreams, those days inside our days. Several more hypothetical lifetimes must therefore be added, including those in which the dead continue to live and those in which the living are dead, those in which such trivial occurrences as an innocent laugh acquire a profound meaning, and those in which most awesome events have none at all, those which are made very strong by supernatural powers and those in which magic itself seems commonplace those in which we play ourselves and those in which we seem to be someone else, those in which everything appears frightening and harmful, and those in which indifference is the single note that sounds throughout. These contradictions make our dreams seem negligible, and this is what enables them to be ignored in the tabulation of our days. But there are still those dreams which are waiting for others to come along whose terms and conditions will cancel them out. These are the leftover dreams, our dark days, which have yet to fall victim to mathematics, and they are the only ones that count for anything. And it is the same with our waking days. Only a few of those escape nullification by contradiction that process of cancellation which is going on all the time. In any case, neither dreams nor days ever survive long before their counterparts annihilate them. It is quite possible that, in our last moments, there will be nothing left which we might look back on as a lifetime. But will this nothingness itself endure? Or will it, too, be cancelled out by some inviolable and unsuspected form of being, terminating at last in a kind of double oblivion?